Good morning. This is the Crafty Canary and welcome to your tip on Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to fix an invisible zipper in an emergency. Now I went to a niece's wedding um, this past weekend and one of the girls dresses, uh, the zipper was getting stuck and the girls were trying to get it up and when they did, the zipper pull came off of one side of the zipper. And it was an invisible zipper like you see on the side of a lot of bridesmaids dresses and it had come off and i can't replicate it it's it's actually really difficult to get one side off but when it did it and this i'm going to show you some tips and tricks to fix something like this but i will tell you i spent all told a couple of hours trying to figure this out and fix it. So this isn't something that I'm just a genius and I got it like that. It took a while and it took a lot of work and a lot of practice, especially when you've got eyes on you and everybody waiting and it's an emergency and wanting the dress. But thankfully they had tr put the dresses on several hours before the wedding for pictures. So we actually had enough time to work on it. You may not, you may be in an emergency and when that happens and you can't get the zipper up, you can't get it fixed, you may just have to stitch the girl into the dress or someone who can um, just hand sew the dress clothes so that they can get down the aisle and have the dress stay on them. But what happened was one side came off and with, I'm going to go ahead and just take the whole zipper pull off the zipper and with an invisible zipper, it's a little bit different the pull is a little bit different than a regular zipper. On a regular zipper, you almost can get one side in to the zipper pull because it's open all the way on the side. Now this one, I'm gonna try to get a close up for you, is not. If you can see, the side is not all the way open. There's a part closed. It's open at the top and it's open at the bottom. But what I have discovered is that it's also open if you can see that without the light glaring on it, it's also a little bit open in the front. And so that's what you have to do. So I was not able to get it back on just one side. And so I had to take it all the way off the top. So here's the top of the zipper. And again, this is not, it wasn't just a zipper hanging in midair. It was sewn onto a dress, so that made it even more difficult. But what I had to do was take it all the way off the top and then get it onto the bottom. And again, you can't just take it and stick it into this top because the sides are closed. The sides are not open, so I can't just put that into the top. So what I had to do, and again, I don't know if this is gonna be easy to see or not, but I have to put it in the top and then come around kind of to the front so in the top and the front, and then take the other side. And if, if your seamstress has sewn this bottom part of the zipper to the dress, you either gonna have to take that off or you just won't be able to do this. So this is only if you can get to that bottom part of the zipper. And again, I'm gonna go in the top and then kind of curve it around to come into the front and out the bottom. Now. It's very easy to get it cattywampus where the two sides of the tape have uh, gotten off a little bit. So try as much as you can, and again, this is not gonna be perfection, but try as much as you can to get those tapes as even as possible on the bottom and then come up. Now, what's gonna happen is you have a zipper stop at the bottom that's not going to allow you to um, pull it up. So you have to cut that with an, an invisible zipper. Now with a regular zipper, they're metal. But with an invisible zipper, it's plastic. It's a plastic stopper that keeps this from coming apart. So what you have to do is get you a pair of scissors and cut that plastic. Being as careful as you can, it's not uh, too bad, but just cut that plastic apart so that then you can get it up over that stop. Now, it's still gonna be a little difficult. I had already cut this lighter green one, so I was demonstrating on that olive one. It's still gonna be a little difficult. It's still not wanting to go up. So what you do, only part of it went up. Actually, that can happen too, but I would pull it back down so that you can go together and keep it as even as possible. A pencil, graphite, is a dry lubricant. And so when you have a zipper that is stuck, whether like this or just a regular zipper and you can't get it up or down, try this first. Take the pencil and rub it over the part of the zipper that you need to go, it to go up. So I'm just rubbing that on the teeth. I know you can't see it very well. Rubbing it on the teeth 
where it's gonna need to hit so that it gives it a little bit of a lubricant. Now again, you don't wanna get pencil on her dress, but in an emergency sometimes, there might be a little pencil on her dress and you've just got to get this zipper up. So be as careful as you can, but also realize the real point is you've gotta get this zipper up and get the, the girl down the aisle with a dress on. And see, it worked. So that actually should be your first line of uh, attack. If you have a stuck zipper, which is what happened in the first place, it was stuck and so they were pulling really hard and they got that one side off, use a pencil to try to just on the teeth as much as you can, rub the pencil on there and get it up. If you can't and you can't get the one side back on, take both sides off and go from the bottom. Cut the zipper stop and then you might have to sew a new zipper stop. And what you need to do is just take some uh, thread, a couple of strands of thread, and just sew a stop on there, real, just kind of attack. All right, but I hope that really helps. I hope that's given you some tips. If you are a seamstress, you might end up having to do this sometime. People know you're a seamstress, so take a sewing kit um, wherever you go, especially if it's to an occasion like a wedding, a family reunion, a funeral, something like that, take a, a sewing kit and remember to take a pencil because you might be able to um, quickly get it done with a pencil. So I hope you have a great day. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.